Hello, my name is Obed Tizerimana and I'm a student from Southern New Hampshire University. Uh, today we are dealing with a project uh, that's related to managing business organization. And here we are talking about uh, different functions that, that uh, are in management. So uh, when we're talking of management, first thing is to understand what does term mean. So, and to understand it, we can consult Lumen Learning um, where they define management as act of interacting with people and resources in organization to achieve our different goals. It, it might be strategic goals or objectives. So it means that when we're dealing with the management, it's a way that um, maybe a person, uh, a certain assignment the person, can interact with the resources and uh, people in the organization or of the organization to achieve the success of the organization. Um, here we understand that um, we will need a person who will be assigned to interact with other people and that, is, that person is known as manager. And his role will be just to engage in people, to control people, to plan for them and to help them to achieve uh, the, their goals as they achieve the success of the, the progress of the company or, or the organization. Now we can go on with um, functional functions of management or functions of manager in general. And we can have uh, uh, around eight functions, but now we are going to talk about five functions. We are going to talk about planning, uh, organizing, leading, staffing, and controlling. We can start with the first one. We can have planning. So we understand in our daily lives we, we, we actually do planning and planning is um, uh, in our organization is done by the manager where, whether uh, where she he, or he is the one to decide the overflow of events and actually uh, set the actions uh, that have to be done in a specific period of time. It means that uh, here manager can, can arrange how the actions will be carried out throughout the organization. It can make different schedules, it can make action plans, it can make uh, implementation plans to show when the actions should be done. And we can go on with organizing. Organizing, this is uh, uh, a case where a manager will align the resources to appropriate people. So he has to divide the resources with um, uh, human resources so that the resources can be used to make benefits or to make profit or to make the expected production. So manager can choose to divide um, to divide um, every worker to give every worker a pain or a rural to just carry out the, the business uh, objectives or to achieve his tasks. We're gonna go on with also staffing. Staffing is, is about um, here managers what to do in the staffing. Managers are supposed to make evaluation uh, and decide the progress and, and how the company or organization is achieving its objectives. So what it does here is just job analysis to see how the company is progressing, recruitment of the new people where they are needed, and recruitment of the new workers where they are needed, and provide different plans and trainings to help the workers to achieve their objectives or to help the workers achieve their tasks. So you have to make sure that the human resources are able to, uh, they have appropriate knowledge and skills to help them to achieve their, their, their assigned tasks. Uh, the other one we can talk about is about reading. Reading, we understand that um, it's kind of a leader. So here manager, he has to assign tasks to different employees to make sure that uh, the company is making progress. So it's like just making an, um, an implementation plans or, or, or job descriptions to help uh, people in the organization uh, so that everyone will have his assigned tasks. So it's a matter of assigning tasks to everyone and, and we have to follow those um, tasks to achieve uh, the strategic goals of the organization. Now we can have to we can have the last one which is controlling actually. Controlling um, uh, here managers, what do you understand? It's a matter of um, uh, figuring out the, the, the general uh, figure of the organization. So here manager, what it does is checking out the outcome of the activities, how the, 
how the, how the the works of the employees are benefiting the company. Uh, checking the usage of resources to check whether the resources are being appropriately used. Making adjustments where needed is just uh, deciding whether he can tra or provide trainings or he can hire new people or they can hire part time. Uh, they can have some part time uh, posts to make sure that the, the company is progressing and to check whether the workers are fulfilling their responsibilities. So we have some follow up of uh, where workers are, are fulfilling or they are assigned the tasks to make company progress. Now we can go on with management styles. Of course, if we have um, dysfunctions, it doesn't mean that it can be done the same way. So we can have different styles that managers can use to, to, to manage the organization. And the first one, we shall have these three uh, from Freyfield. And the first one is directing. As we understand the term directing, shear managers uh, we have to provide the guidelines and the rules to employees. So employees are told what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. So then they will go and do it. So it's one way of communicating where manager come and uh, talk of everything. He, he just makes it, all the decisions and then he tells the workers, you have to do this, you have to do this. And then he recognizes the best performance. It's like, um, it's like that. So you have to give them the directions to flow and there's no kind of discussion. It's just, you get the directions and you go and do your tasks like that. And uh, what managers do is just to give the information, uh, be precise and give all the details, then workers will go and throw the directions. We're going to have the other management style. Uh, we can talk about its strengths. So when we talk of strengths, we can have easy communication because the manager will have to communicate to people. Uh, no time consuming because there's no time to discuss. It will be easy. Then uh, its weakness. The weakness of this um, kind of style is that it limits uh, creativity because you understand um, there's no kind of suggesting. So if what a manager says what it be fraud and it limits just the flow of ideas. So people are not sharing the ideas, they are not communicating. It's one way of communicating. We can talk the, about the other style which is discussing. Discussing, um, we understand that if this discussing style then a uh, manager will have to um, give, uh, to, to talk something and the workers will have to suggest or add something about what the managers have said. So it means that um, manager interacts with the workers to decide what to do, how to do it and when to be, when it should be done. So communication is two-way communicating and and managers will have to receive the suggestions and then you can decide together with the workers about how to do a certain task. So, managers can ask uh, workers some questions um, and give them time to answer and uh, uh, then uh, help workers to share the words as they are discussing and then uh, they shall decide together how to do all the tasks. Now, the strength of this um, style is that there's a kind of freedom of speech since everyone is suggesting how the tasks can be done. Creativity, of course, will be there because um, different sh ideas are being shared and then we can have this kind of insights of how to do things. And workers, of course, are satisfied because they are allowed to, to make some decisions in the organization. Then it's weakness. Uh, some of the weaknesses we can say is time consuming because um, your workers will be suggesting that to will color a lot of time and it can result in the conflicts if one not well directed. So you understand if uh, the, we can have the, some of the opposite sides who, who are going to, uh, we can have some kind of hate inside the workers because maybe one is opposing the idea of another. So it should be highly controlled and so that it cannot result in some conflicts. The last one is about is delegating style. We understand, we delegate. Manager will have to say, okay, I have to do this. And they say uh, the employees are the ones to decide what should be done how should it be done and when it should be done. So 
it's like during the communication manager will assign tasks to employers and then uh, employers will do soft coaching and um, they will they will uh, set the goals and objectives and, and the workers will have done all the task work will be recognized. So uh, managers will assign tasks and then uh, make some check in this to see the progress and, uh, and um, workers will be able to work independently and be creative to make sure that they do all the assigned tasks. Now uh, we can talk of its weaknesses or oh, not. Let's go with first strength. So strength, we understand that it will help workers to are independently and it will enhance creativity since workers are the ones to brainstorm different ways they were used to do all the tasks. Some of the weaknesses we might have is time consuming because uh, you understand we may be take longer for the employee to make all the assigned tasks. It would be somewhat expensive because um, as the carry times means also the, some of the resources can be more of the resources can be used since everyone is, disco is discovering it, his or her own way of doing things and sometimes it can be kind of a demotivation since one is doing the pen is doing all things independently and it's like he can he cannot be motivated to work since no one is making for ups. So it can motivate some of the workers who don't like to work independently. Thanks for following up this presentation. I'm Billy Suzerman and see you next time. Uh, these are some of the references we have used and you can check out to read more about it, this uh, video. Thank you so much.